You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, presented by the only one media group. This is the people's choice for quality interviews, celebrities and special guests. Hosted by Demetrius Dinny Reynolds. Call in to join the mix at 701-801-9813. For the complete archive of episodes, visit onlyonemediagroup.com and be sure to like us on Facebook at Vigilantes Radio. We welcome all. Enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds. Enjoy the show. Yo, <laughs> what is going on? Welcome to another awesome episode of Vigilantes Radio. I am your host, Denny Mussolini. Uh, we have a very special guest for tonight's show, tonight's interview, so you definitely want to stick around for that. There are over 22,000 of you guys on our phone lines and our chat rooms on the browser, Google Hangouts, Skype. All of the plugins that we use to run these episodes, you guys are filling them up, and I appreciate that. So take a chill pill as we dive into this interview. Uh, Possibility, do you guys know about that? So in the seed, there is a forest waiting to grow. On the artist's canvas, a masterpiece is waiting to be painted. Uh, In the engineer's workstation, a technical breakthrough is waiting to be developed. Everywhere there is possibility. Every moment of every life is filled with possibilities and the next moment as well. Every problem has a possible solution. Every goal has a possibility of achievement. Right now, right this moment, your life has possibilities that you never even considered. Possibilities you can follow to overcome the challenges that you face. Possibilities that bring joy and fulfillment. There is a pathway leading to wherever you want to go. All you need to do is find it and start the journey. Today does not have to be like yesterday. There are plenty of other possibilities. Consider your possibility, guys. Uh, I always say, you know, one day is done, next day it's time to do something different. Maybe the, uh, the previous day didn't go according to plan. Well, guess what? When you go to sleep and you wake up, it's like hitting the reset button. You get a fresh start, a fresh new way to uh, perceive life or your life or the way things unfold. So follow your possibilities. Open yourself to what could be and then make it so. Take that from me, Denny Mussolini. That is my word and word is boss. You're live in the mix. Let's get this started. Yo, hello, and welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Music, or the book, or film, or even the business, where we dive into the minds of the people who create these marvelous things. It feels so good to be back with you guys once again. Big ups to my folks who are Indigos, Crystalline, or the Star Seeds, for my Vigilantes audience family, for my hooligans, and shout out to my people who are vegetarian or vegans. If you're in a struggle like me, we are averaging over 37,000 live listeners and we've been at this for five solid years. I appreciate to all you guys who've been rocking with the kid on this journey and we are still evolving, baby. It is all because of you, most definitely. We are the people who have dedicated their lives to music, spirituality, business, literature, art, films, and research in every aspect. And we want to allow you an opportunity to tell your story. Man, we've had celebrities on our show from Grammy Award winning artists, uh, nominees to actors, comedians, CEOs, technology revolutionaries, visual artists from authors to professors and vampires. Or people think they're vampires. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. Come on our show and talk to me. So check it out to book your interview or to appear on my other show called Skeptics. Email me at 
the radio at only one media group.com and that's V as in Victor. We hope to get the stories behind these unique people and give them a chance to tell their truth to us and the universe. That is Vigilantes Radio Soul Purpose. You know the number to dial 701 801 9813. Share that number with your buddy right now and tell them to tune in to connect with us or our guests. Or you can hop in the mix directly from our website, which is only one media group.com. Right from the home page, you can slap that go live button and you'll be here live in the mix and in the chat room with all of us. So feel free to shoot over some questions to ask our guests while they are here but only as time permits sometimes my guests and i talk entirely too much and as always all episodes are available for free download and you can grab that from either spricker.com forward slash only one media group itunes player.fm youtube any app from the google player itunes store or over at our website and that goes for every single episode that we've ever aired well Tonight's interview is the Amna interview, and again, I'm your host, Denny. Uh, I am extremely happy with the way these interview questions turned out uh, for this particular interview, right? Amna is made up of a stand-up character you need to be to survive in this music industry and in life, and I believe that she definitely understands why we do what we do here at Vigilantes Radio. The music is important, and it deserves our respect. We do our best every time to make sure that we communicate that with an interview that does it justice. I really believe that we will achieve all of that tonight between Emna and uh, Vigilantes Radio, feature of her here. We can achieve that. I know so. And as a bonus... Uh, who am I kidding? The bonus is Amna. She's live with us. That's all we need, right? Oh, yeah, and, and her wonderful music to fill our ear holes. I think it's every bit of important to see that even across the states and across the world, for that matter, that we can still connect and impact each other through music. So have a sit down as we dive deep into this interview with Amna. Before that, let's go ahead and invite her on. Hello, you're now live in the midst with all of us. How's it going? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Great, great. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm really excited about this. Dope, dope, dope. So I learned, you know, sometimes you got to ask people how they feel rather than how are they doing, you know? I understand. Yeah, I'm feeling good today. (laughs) <laughs> great, great. Glad to hear it. So, uh, first things first, you know, thank you, of course, uh, for joining us here at Vigilantes Radio. So, you have a lot going on for you um, with this music that you're making. You got a new single, I Am Trying, that dropped a couple of weeks ago on SoundCloud, if I, uh, if I saw that correct. Um, so, I've been through the song several times at this point, and, and I absolutely love it. But for those out there who don't know about you yet, let's get some history. Like, how did this musical journey come to be? Well, you know, I've always uh, had a passion for music as a young kid. And I remember uh, as I got older, I started writing a lot of poetry when my closest friend passed away. And the more that I write poetry, you know, and I would reread those poetry, it just felt kind of incomplete. So I, I started writing some songs, try to extend those poetry, and I turned those poems into songs, and it felt so good just reading it. And it made me fit, realize, like, this is something that, some a gift that definitely God has given me to write. And then uh, just sharing with other people, you know, getting positive feedback made me continue to keep writing. But it was a lot of the hardships and the difficulties in life that, that made me want to write music it was just like an outlook definitely definitely um like at at what stage in life did you you know discover that or or what stage in life did you start to turn the poetry into like song forms it was a few like years back college? Huh? yeah when i finished college i started writing a lot more poetry and then uh it was just like a couple years ago i turned those poetry into uh songs so all this is still kind of fairly new to you yeah writing songs is fairly new but just writing in general poetry I've been doing that for a long long time nice nice alright so when you dropped your single how did your fans react to this 
Man, I got I got tons of um, positive feedback. I mean, people were hitting me up right and left, and they were like, man, they were amazed at at the, at the song and how it turned out to be. Uh, I mean, a lot of people were able to relate to it, you know, just keeping it real and authentic in, in my lyrics. And people really loved that a lot. So I got a lot of feedback, and I'm still getting feedback every day. So as far as like your own writing is concerned, you tend to write songs that are, you know, kind of uh, uh, internalized view of your personal life, introspect, if you will. Um, does that create any challenges for you to like open up and share these feelings, these emotions, these lyrics with your inner circle and fans? Yeah, sometimes it's definitely a challenge. You know, it showed me that that I need to continue to keep writing and showed me that a lot of people actually go through hard times, you know, and sometimes right other people are, are difficult to share with. So I tend to like be vulnerable and just share with others. It sometimes is a challenge. Definitely. All right. So what was the need to create this song? I am trying, like, what were you saying here? If you can provide like some insight into the lyrics. Uh, well, it just came uh, from a place of deep pain in my heart. You know, I was going through a lot. As a matter of fact, I wrote this song a couple months ago, and I was just going mm. through a lot of stuff in my mind, and um, just going through a lot of stuff in, in, in life in general. And I just felt had, had a need to just write, knowing that, you know, here I am, Lord, I'm trying, you know, telling other people, like, you know, no matter how hard life is, I'm still trying. I can't give up now. So it definitely talks a lot about... Um, you know, my my battle in my mind, you know, my conscience and the thoughts that I was having in my mind and just the questions of life that I was also um, having in my mind. So I just felt like, you know, that's where a lot of my, um, that lyrics of the song came from. Definitely. I'm going to get all Oprah-like on you. Um, do you ever, like, dive deep into, like, the situations or the thoughts or, or do you just kind of bounce around the... Uh, like metaphorically or, or um, without giving any real, real details in the music? Or do you just put everything out on front street? Yeah, most of my songs, I just put it up front. You know, I definitely write, especially when I'm going through a hard time and when I'm feeling really sad or down. I just get whatever I feel inside. I just put it all out there. Yeah. What's the hardest thing you ever wrote about? I uh, just, um, I think when my closest friend, you know, he passed away, that was really hard. You know, that was one of the mm. toughest times I faced. Uh, and on top of that, I was going through so much other stuff in life. So it was just like challenges after challenges. So that was kind of, that was really hard. Definitely. Um, do you do any, like, cover songs? Um, and I consider, like, even rapping over, like, industry beats to be cover songs. Do you have any of those in your arsenal? No, not really. I just generally, like, I, I usually have, like, a producer that creates different beats. So I usually just use those beats. And I haven't really tried to cover it yet. But, you know, it might you... be in the future, though. Okay, okay. Do you think songs should be covered? Um, I think it is good and bad to it. I mean, I don't, I feel like... You know, if you can definitely write something better to that cover, then, you know, why not go for it? So. Yeah. I mean, but how would it? How would you think it would make the, the artist feel, though? Like, say you did a song, okay, and then some new artist came, they, they uh, I won't say jacked your beat, but they used your beat, kind of used the same hook you did, and, you know, kind of spit a different verse, and it ended up being better than your, your version, the original version, of course. Um, how would that make you feel as an artist? I think it's just like part of life, you know, because there's like so many artists out there. And I think, you know, when they make songs, I mean, if they can do better, they can do it better. I don't really, I'm, I don't I don't mind if somebody did a cover over my song. You know, I think I actually would be kind of kind of excited to hear what they have written about it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool I think we all try, tend to just recycle and use cover after cover, you know. So, as when you look yeah. at the industry, a lot of times that's how you know most artists get on, really, by using other people's right cover. On. So, yeah, 
I, I got kind of I, I kind of agree with you a hundred percent on that one. Um, the you know it, it should be flattering, you know, if somebody wants to do a song that you did, you know, not to not to try to show off, but to like pay homage. I think that's the ultimate way to pay homage sometimes. Sure. Yep. So I, I got one, a random one for you. Um, what inspiration keeps you awake at night? Um, I think just knowing that, like, my music helps other overcome what they're going through. You know, I know a lot of a lot of the feedback that I received recently. You know, it was positive, and it helped them go, help them overcome what they were facing. So that's one thing that inspires me. You know, keeps me going, knowing that it, this music is just not for me, but it's also like a gift that God has given me to use it. You know, it's like a purpose that God has given me in life, and it feels great to know that it helps other people, you know, because a lot of my songs are full of pain, but it also has a glimpse of hope in each of those songs. Right on. I saw on um, Instagram where you where you uh, kind of hashtag Christian rap. Are you considering yourself a Christian rapper? I wouldn't label myself like that, but I will say that a lot of my songs do include God in it, you know. Uh, I think that's a, that's a stronghold of my life. So I wanted I wanted to one day collaborate with some of the Christian rappers. So I thought why not throw that hashtag at, at it? You know, why not throw that hashtag out there and see see the feedback? And I did have a couple people reach out to me, so that was good. Nice. You listen to Christian rap? Oh yeah, definitely for sure. Who's your favorite right now? As far as Christian rap, I think uh, Triple I like Triple and and Lecrae. Dope, dope. All right. Okay. So, websites. How do you like to connect to people on social media? Yes, through SoundCloud, you know, Omna S. And then I also have the Instagram, Omna S Music. So, those are the two main ones that I actually communicate with um, other people. Definitely. Omna uh, S Music. Yeah, yeah, on that music. And guys, just in case you need that link, I have them in the show notes or the description. So all I have to do is click the link. They are hyperlinked, so it'll take you, you know, right to the destination. All right. So, what about performances? What can a new person who has never heard or seen you before expect from a live performance? I think they can definitely expect some um, encouragement. And inspiration. There's a lot of. I mean, my music is is not no like you know not a not like dancing or club music, but more of an inspiration and encouragement. So they can definitely find some hope and encouragement and motivation to continue with life challenges, regardless of what they face. Some vibe music, right? Yes. Cool. Have you? Do you have any performances um, coming up? Yeah, I had a recently, I had one just for Thanksgiving, and I have one next week as far as, uh, it's a small event down in Houston, Texas, but that's, nice. as far as right now, that's all I have. Okay. So you're still kind of new to that part as well. How do you, how do you oh, uh, yeah. get over the stage break? I, I don't think I have, like, the stage break, because it's something that is in me, like, I, I want to do this. You know, I have a passion right. for this, so it's like, when I get on that stage, it's, I'm kind of excited to perform. Definitely. So I understand that quality songwriting, songwriting sometimes takes time, you know. Uh, I've heard one song that it took three to six months to write, you know, and the guy we had last night took him an hour and 30 minutes to write it and record it and mix it and master it, as you say, which is dope record breaking if you ask me but um, I understand that you know everything happens in its own timeline but for those out there that maybe don't have the experience of making a record themselves or know what goes into it uh, walk them through it a little like what's the average you know time that you spend creating a song and that the average time that I spend it, I mean it can last for like a couple hours to a couple of days you know a lot of times like well, mm -hmm. just for example with this song like I wrote this song in like two three hours 
But then, you know, I, I read it back a couple of days later and I changed some stuff, making sure the hook sound good. And then I went in the studio and recorded. And then we recorded for a couple of hours, make sure everything was perfectly lined up. So it can take, I would say, about a week, you know, for a good song. But um, the writing process, sometimes, you know, my songs, my life, I might write something today and might not touch it till next week, you know. Right. Or the next month. So what about like planning stuff? Um, do you like have a calendar where you predestine your releases, or are you just kind of spontaneous? Whenever a song is done and ready, and there's cover work, there's a promo run for it. Is it, you know, all engines fired up? How does that work for you? Yeah, most definitely. First, first of all, you know, I write the song, then I. I'll re read it and retrain some stuff, and then I'll go to the studio and spend some time recording, and then I'll get the stuff copyrighted, make sure I got the um, license for the beats, and then I call up some promoters or some 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 of my team members. You know, they'll go out and try to promote the song. So it takes some time and it takes some effort. But um, I, once I put a release date out there, I I make sure that I meet that 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 deadline. Definitely. Does your music life ever conflict with your personal life? Oh, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> really? Yeah, for sure. Right. But, you know, it's kind of like, I would look at it like my music is my life, too. Because everything that I write, mm -hmm. everything that I write, you know, is what I what I go through. So it's kind of like... Definitely. Reality music. <laughs> I like no, that. Yeah, creating reality music. All right, guys. After the music break, it'll be time for our usual tradition. It is called the hot seat. That's right. We're going to flame Amna's seat, make her sweat a little bit. Our fans love this part of the segment, of course, along with the actual interview. But the audience will get to hear Amna. Maybe she can sing. Uh, poetry is welcome. Inspirational speeches, freestyle raps. Maybe she can tell stories or a joke. We'll take it all. Or we'll take one. It doesn't matter. Well, you never know what these creative minds and vessels were producing the spotlight. And tonight we'll find out if Amna has what it takes to be put on the spot, a test of her true artistry, and maybe even some hidden talents. But for right now, we have Amna with her song, I Am Trying, and we'll be right back. Just let Amna. Just let Amna. I'm trying, Lord knows I'm trying, seeking for painless days, but it's a drought, be bad and I keep falling out, got plenty doubts, but I cannot bow, got a lot of problems counting on God to help me solve, but my conscience messing up my grind, strange thoughts in my mind, wishing they won't rewind, is this how human life was designed? I don't know, but it's a war. Hope nobody keeping the score, cause I'm losing more and more. Feelings I can't ignore. Big Bear telling me to stop caring. Losing the thoughts you bear, it's tearing you apart. Quit taking everything to heart, these people don't care. I'm trying, Lord knows I'm trying. Seeking for painless days, but it's a drought. Big Bear and I keep falling out. Got plenty doubts, but I cannot bow. Constantly waking up with no energy, draining all my memory. They can't vision the pain I see, know the answers I need. Am I aiming at the right goal? Will God take care of my soul? Do I still believe he in control? Am I digging a deeper hole? Is he paraphine and making me whole? Will the rain ever stop? Am I close to the top? Will they feel my pain? If I told them I'm going insane, will they help me maintain? I'm trying, Lord knows I'm trying. Seeking for painless days, but it's a drought. Be bad and I keep falling out Got plenty doubts But I cannot bow With every song I'm bringing pain Seems like the rain don't ever stop Pressing towards the top Am I climbing on the wrong ladder? Dreams steady getting shattered Voices telling me to give up How can I? Trying to please the most high Glorify him for the gifts he gave All the sins he forgave Look how far we then came How I look like going back to my old ways Remember all those miserable days It was a maze I could have found my way I'm trying, Lord knows I'm trying Seeking for painless days, but it's a drought Be bad and I keep falling out Got plenty doubts, but I cannot bow Yo, and we are back That was Emma with her song, I Am Trying What a dope record Her style, I, I absolutely love her style The whole structure of the song was just perfect for me 
man, I'm in love with that song. I just can't get over her style, man. It's a little different, a little different um, than, than what you normally hear. That's kind of dominating the mainstream right now. Everybody's kind of using that same little cadence or rhyme pattern. But uh, to hear something new, something refreshing is always amazing to me. And I am impressed. Oh, my goodness. So everything that happens, what if everything that happened served to move you towards your goals? What if everything, whether you had a hand in it or not, worked in your favor? It can be if you would make it so. Whatever happens pales in significance when compared with the way you react to it. Your reaction determines whether a situation is positive or negative, and you have complete control over your reactions. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, check it out. So this Chinese guy once told me, you have a right to react, you know, emotional to whatever it is. You could be angry, sad, mad, happy, you know, to any uh, given situation. But after 10, 15, 20 seconds of feeling that emotion, it is up to you to stay in that, and to stay in that mood, you know, to constantly feel that. Because, you know, it's your choice uh, how you react to something or, or stay in the current state that you're in. And, uh, you know, and I, I kind of apply that now in everyday life, you know, using that 10 second rule to get over things quickly or, you know, I, I won't let anything ruin my day or, or uh, uh, some troll who's picking on old Dini trying to make him mad. It's not going to happen. I may be mad for 10 seconds. I may, you know, have a petty side for five seconds, but we snap back to reality and like brush it off the shoulders, right? <laughs> You can make any situation work for you by believing that it can and finding a way. Success and accomplishment are built on the uh, belief that everything happens for a reason and everything that happens can serve your purpose. The events of each day are raw energy waiting to be transformed by your focus, your direction, your belief, and your commitment into whatever you determine to make them. Take that from me, Denny Mussolini, that is my word, and word is bond, but for right now, oh yeah, right now, let's bring back the woman of the moment, Amna, you're back live with us in our hot seat, so what are you going to perform for us? I'm sorry, what was it? <laughs> I was saying you're back live with us in our hot seat, um, what are you going to perform for us? Oh, I got this uh, track that I just uh, wrote not long ago. I just got it recorded, but I can go ahead and share some of the lyrics. Cool deal. It's, just, it's called A Walk a Lot of Miles. It basically reflects uh, the different challenges that I didn't face in my life. I'm just looking back at all the things that, you know, they got to help me overcome. So it's called Walk a Lot of Miles. It says, we don't walk too many miles. Been through so many different trials. See the pain behind these smile, but I'm steady trying. Same to say, I went from 110 to 82. They don't know what I've been having to go through. Now I'm struggling just to get my weight up. Lord knows I've been on a difficult journey. Days I wish it ended a little early, but I got to keep going. Accept the fact that I'm growing. Take life by the day. Don't get caught up with what others say. Them words don't define me. They try to confine me. Mold me in something they want me to be. But I got to look within myself and see this life too short not to be free. Looking back at that time, wrestling with my faith for two and a half years. All those nights I shed tears. Never asked God for this. Question why I exist. Seeking for peace. The more that I saw, the harder it got. Couldn't end with this lot. They must have forgot. I didn't change faith for nothing. Got to stand for something. Risked it all for this. So many hated and got frustrated. So many waited and made life complicated. So many underestimated and rejected. So many days I feel neglected. We don't walk too many miles. Been through so many different trials. See the pain behind these smiles, but I'm steady trying. Same to say I went from 110 to 82. They don't know what I've been having to go through. Now I'm struggling just to get my weight up. Right when I thought I had real freedom, realized I had nothing. Hands still empty. Still got a lot to have fun. I ain't one. Still aiming to keep peace. Praying the struggle will cease. Hoping one day I'll get better at home because we done walked a lot of miles. 
seen a little progression. Thank God I came out of depression. So I know I got to steady pray. Even if he don't answer right away, focus on what he's already done. Look how far we didn't came. Though the pain feel the same, I'm steps closer to where I'm destined. I'm just trying to make it. Lord knows some days I can't take it. Remember nights with no food in my stomach. Couldn't go to sleep because I was too hungry. Used to take the long route home because it wasn't safe there. That's when I turned and looked at Big Bear. He told me it'll be okay. And since then, we don't walk too many miles. Been through so many different trials. See the pain behind these smiles? But I'm steady trying. Saying to say I went from 110 to 82. They don't know what I've been having to go through. Now I'm struggling just to get my weight up. Nice. Nice. That's dope. That's just like a little that. something. Yeah. Sure. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. So you have... Pain and Hope that's coming out uh, pretty soon. That's your up and coming. Uh, is that an album or an EP? It's gonna be an EP with about like six or seven songs. And what I just spit for it's also gonna be on the on on the tape. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Nice. So thematically, what can listeners expect to find in the content of these songs on that upcoming project? Uh, they, can, they can definitely get to know me a little bit better and who I am and, and what I go through day to day. The whole tape will be full of life messages uh, containing encouragement and hope. It, it will bring comfort. It, I hope it brings comfort in, in times of difficulty or whatever other space and, and hopefully it inspires others to overcome different challenges. Definitely. All right, we'll be looking for that. You have a date yet? It's going to be released on February 25th. On my birthday. Cool. On your birthday. Nice. Sure. <laughs> cool deal. How are you going to celebrate the release? Any plans? Yeah, definitely going to celebrate the release. Um, I'm not, I don't know the details yet, but for sure it will definitely happen. All right. Cool deal. Well, keep us up to date. Uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for you as well. And be looking out for pain and hope to hit. Anytime in uh, February. Well, we have a date already. So, yeah, we'll be looking for that. We'll keep an eye out. Any uh, plans to shoot a music video for I Am Trying? Yeah, I'm thinking about shooting one probably in the next couple weeks. So. Cool deal. All right. Well, we appreciate you and your music and hope to talk to you again. So, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you my Vigilantes family, as always, for checking out my podcast over here at Vigilantes Radio. All episodes are available for free download, and you can grab that from either Spricker.com forward slash only one media group, iTunes, YouTube, any app that's on a Google Play or iTunes store, or our website. And that goes from every single episode that we've ever aired. If you'd like to request music or a particular guest or send something for me to play, email it to the radio at only one media group.com. If it's music, please label it by artist and title. Here's my disclaimer we are genre free, we do not judge, and we absolutely do not base our opinions on hearsay but facts alone. And actually, you can scratch all of that because all of my opinions are always right. That's the bottom line. This is my show, so deal with it. <laughs> Nah, just kidding. On behalf of myself, Danny Mussolini, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in either afterwards or live with us. Spread the word because sharing is caring. We stepped up our game just for you guys and our guests to make sure that you have the best experience here on our show. Be sure to connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, as well as Spricker. We always follow back. That is the number one rule. Okay, well, just remember to be yourself and be absolutely great at just doing that. Avoid being too comfortable because you're messing with your potential when you do that. Peace and have a good night.
You are now listening to Vigilantes Radio, the people's choice for quality interviews, art, music, and hot topics. Hosted by Demetrius Houdini Black Reynolds of the duo No Longer the Hero. All episodes of this podcast are available for free download at www.onlyonemediagroup.com. This is a seventh sign regime, Rebirth Worldwide Syndicate exclusive.